Hi everybody, Bill here. I just want to do a quick follow-up uh, on my little hibachi grill. You can see I've got the coals in it. Uh, started them with my, uh, you know, charcoal starter. Uh, had a guy today tell me that it uh, wasn't going to work because it was the legs were going to get too hot and everything. So I decided, you know what, I'm going to do a test burn on it. We're going to do some steaks tonight. But... Uh, I just want to show you here it's really not doing too bad that's my infrared thermometer there it's right on the it's on the leg and that's showing about you know we're at like 78 77 degrees that's fine come up here a little higher on the leg showing about 141 if I can even hold it straight apparently I can't you know, it's 130, 140, but we go up here onto the, you know, the, cha the chamber of itself. You know, there's 355 down here where the charcoal is, where it, you know, closer to 500, 550. Going to get up to 500 here, most likely. But, you know, I mean, it's a cold day here today. True, I mean, that tabletop is like 70 degrees, but... There we are on that leg there. It's like 85. So I don't think that's, you know, that's not going to, that's not going to burn anything. Just to show you how cold it is, here's my grate. And that grate's got it, you know, in today's, like I say, it is cold here today. It's like 50 degrees or less. You know, you're looking at, right there is 50, you know. So I'm going to put that on there, put some steaks on, let's see, the you know, charcoal's off the scale. So, we can go over here to the side, let me look at the sides, down low, 340, 350, you know, 330 there. So, the, you know, the paint's holding on it real good. I'm pretty happy with it. Here's our, let's get right up here. You know, 219, two something right up there at the top. Probably don't want to touch that, but you know, it's, uh, I can keep my hand on that. I mean, it's not, it's warm, but it certainly isn't gonna catch anything on fire. But let me go get the steaks. We'll do this up. I'll get back with you. So I, you know, sold a few things. I was able to put some steak on there, put a sausage on. You know, just trying to test this thing out right now. Um, as you can see, I got my hand on it. I mean, that's not getting hot at all. And this has only been on for just a little bit. Uh, you know, coming right along, getting the sausages done. About ready to... About ready to flip that bad boy over there but uh you know tell you i don't know give you a little hint how i do my steaks i put a uh, put a little olive oil on there a little uh salt pepper garlic olive oil a touch of onion powder and uh of course the mighty cayenne you gotta love a little cayenne on there give it just a touch of a kick and I'm going to let this go a little bit longer. And when I'm done with it, uh, just before I'm done with it, I'll put a little glaze of like a uh, little A1 on there. Let that cook on there. Everything's good. But uh, like I say, again, I'm not, you know, this isn't hot at all. Put my hands right on there. No problems. Fire's going well. Apologize for the camera work. I sometimes... Have a trouble with uh, you know walking and chewing gum at the same time. Let me flip that bad boy over. Looking good. Looking good. So there, the steak's pretty much all done. Uh, again, with the heat, I don't have my gun out here right now, but that's not. And the funny thing is, the lovely Margaret's feet. The l you find that funny? funny? Stop it. These aren't even. Uh, you know, I got to hold the camera and whatnot, but those aren't even hot. This thing, I'm, uh, 
I'm pretty happy with how it turned out and God that steak looks good. I know you're hungry. I know it. But that's a shame. Maybe if you buy bought one of these you could do that yourself at your house. See ya.